Greetings viewers. In this video, we will be making a Rain USB out of the latest version of Chagrin, that is Chagrin 0.12.3, so that you can run the Chagrin's Mac version right on your Windows computer, which is more reliable than the Linux version. So it is very easy to do. Just download these files from the link in the description. If you are using an AMD, download only the AMD GMG and if you are on Intel, download only the Intel DMT. Now you will need Blanacher to flash it onto your flash drive. Download Blanacher from the link in the description. Download the latest version for Windows. Now next you will need Transmac. Download Transmac for Windows from the link in the description. Alright and install it. Now download the Jackrin's latest file from the link in the description. Now right click and extract it. You will get this folder. Now we have to flash this DMG according to your computer Intel or AMD to the flash drive. Simply open Blanacher as an administrator. Once Banana Etcher is open, attach a flash drive. A 2GB flash drive is enough for this. Now just select image. Select the image according to your computer. So I will be using the Intel one. I am on an Intel computer. Now click on open. Simply click on flash now. This will now flash the DMG onto your flash drive. This can take about a minute. So please be patient and let the process complete. Guys, when the flash is complete, you'll see that one successful device and flash complete. Now close it out. Now guys, unplug the USB and reattach it. Alright, now open a transmit that you have downloaded and installed. Run it as an administrator. Once done, click on run and you will see your USB right here. Open it, click on Rain USB, go to applications and go to the 0.9.6.app. Alright, and you have to delete the contents of this folder. Right click it and delete. Okay, once done, you will see that 0.9.6 is empty. Just open this folder that you have extracted. You will see contents in this folder. Now, just drag and drop the contents folder onto the 0.9.6.app. Alright, so now you can see you have contents under the 0.9.6.app. So we are now pretty much done with step one. Now we will just restart our computer, go to the boot manager, and then I will show you how to use Rain USB. Now just restart your computer and head to the boot manager or the boot menu. If the RAIN USB is not working for you, you have to turn off secure boot and fast boot in BIOS and then it will work and to enter the boot menu you have to press F9 or F12 depending on your computer's model. You can google it with your model on how to enter the boot manager. Now RAIN USB 0.12.3 will only work with UEFI mode, it will not work with legacy mode. Okay. So I will just press enter here. You will see the screen, just press enter once again. You will see some bunch of text running. So Rain USB is being loaded. It is being booted. And uh, if you are seeing any problem, you can check the link in the description. There is a complete playlist on how to solve many problems of Rain USB 
and to boot it successfully near completion you will see this bar running let it complete after the boot up is complete you will see this language screen if your mouse is not clicking or it is not working you can attach an external usb mouse or a wireless mouse will work now just select your language and then click this arrow eventually you will see the screen just click continue and you will see utilities up above just click it and click the terminal it will open a terminal window then type here six only six all right and then hit enter you will see that check range 0 0.12.3 the latest one currently at the time of making this video is loaded now i will attach my iphone so my iphone is detected on 14.5 and it's an iphone se so if you are jailbreaking iphone 8 or 10 you can go to options and skip a 11 bpr check then go back and start it will work all right so i am jailbreaking iphone se so i don't need to check that option now just hit start and hit next if you see this error that is says that could not connect to lockdown d and you will see this trust this computer dialog if you trust it will not work still so how to fix it you can use the solution on the mac version of uh, checkrain so we have to enter recovery mode manually i will turn off the device remove the cable and then just press and hold the home button all right and then attach the cable you can see on google on how to enter the recovery board manually depending on your device you can see i have entered the recovery mode now i will just hit start and hit the dfu mode again all right so just follow the on-screen instructions and you can see it has entered dfu mode successfully so now it is booting all right you can see it says all done and everything went successfully fine now you will see the check in loader on your screen in a second if it does not appear for a longer time please don't panic there is a link in the description to fix it also so i have check in loader now i will install cdia and show you that it is working fine just install cdia it is downloading the base system so it is installing now cdia okay so cdia is on my screen now let's open it and see the version and see if it works so it is on 14.5 and it's an iphone se you can use the same tutorial for any version higher than 14.5 using this rain usb 0.12.3 all right so everything works everything is working fine the search sources everything so we are done now if you want to go back to windows you can just click this icon and then hit restart all right if you hit restart it will just restart the computer just remove the usb flash drive and then it will load windows so guys that's all for this video if you want to ask any question you can ask in the comments and i will reply you as soon as possible i will see you in another video goodbye